I'll finish them now, all right. There's no help from you two. You're yelling. Come on, let's get out of here. Wait a minute. You guys ain't going nowhere. What do you mean? You fellas are through. There's no room in our office for men like you. Oh, what are you talking about? Ah, the... shut up. That's it. Wait. Sat for not finding out. He might like a little hush money. They're too late. They ain't too far ahead, you know. Well, they ain't fit for running now. You don't have to do any running as long as I got this. Come on, let's pick up a ride. Yeah. show that ownership in Vern Carr rests in Turk Martin. Further investigation reveals that he works for you. That's true. He's worked here for some time. He's a good mechanic. I had no reason to suspect anything unlawful. Didn't you think it was strange that he didn't report for work today? Certainly not. This is his day off. I still think there's some mistake. Well, I brought down a bunch of photos from our mug gallery. See if a picture of your mechanic is among them. That'll help us a lot. cars were used on the job? Lanton's cars, both of them. And two of his men are on their first job with us. It's a mistake. Get Lanton on the phone. I recognize none of these men. Are you sure? Certainly I'm sure. I never saw him before in my life. Thanks for that. Tell them I'm busy. Lanton Garage. Give me Lanton. Why, he's very busy. Could he call you later? No, you fool. He can't call me later. I want to talk to him now. This is Abel Bellamy. Some man by the name of Abel Bellamy insists on speaking to you on the phone. Pardon me. Mr. Bellamy is one of my best customers. <laughs> Quite all right. Hello. Hello, Mr. Bellamy. I'm sorry, I... I, I can't give you any news. All my shipments are tied up. What dribble is this? Speak up, man. I I can't. Restrictions make it impossible. I'll phone you just as soon as I get a release. Thank you. Goodbye. I lost my temper. Lanton's in trouble. Unable to talk freely. Do you think it's the police? Most likely. He'll call back when he can. These rich customers are pain in the neck at times. Yes, most of the time. Uh, sorry, with no more help to you, Inspector. Oh, you've helped as much as possible, I'm sure. Well, I'm always willing to help the police force. Drop in any time. Yes, we'll probably take advantage of that. Yes, do. I give a lot to listen to his conversation with Bellamy. You think he's hooked up with this? It's a cinch. Lanton's probably on the phone to him right now. Put a tail on him, Inspector. It might lead to something. Right, though his explanation about Bellamy being his best customer holds water. That's why he used it. Now look, Bellamy, I'm in a panic. If Turk and Dorsey return here, they'll be picked up sure. And they might talk. No, 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 no. They won't talk. Take my word for it. Take it easy and do nothing. And above all, stay away from here. You'll be watched. Well, do something and do it quick. The next time I say I'm busy, I'm busy. Your guess was right, Savini. It was the police. That's right, Savini. Start worrying. <laughs> Well, I'm to have a hideout like this. 
We'll make them cut us in or pay us plenty. Yeah, I know, I know. But first, we've got to get in. Or I can get over that hedge. Come on, give me a hand. Hey, look, one of those photoelectric gadgets. Never mind, we're in. I saw the car go over and bust in the flames. I can't explain. Well, don't try. Spike Collins is alive and definitely a menace. Perhaps the men themselves can excuse their blunder. Bring them in. Oh, I wouldn't worry about them. I paid them off and fired them. Blither, you idiot. One thing you shouldn't have done. Two admitted weaklings that know enough to hang you, and you fired them. But I thought... Don't that... think. Take some men and look for them. Go to Lantern's first. You know where to start you looking for them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Say, that car must be a spook. They come in here and I'll bet on it. I know it, but where is it? Hey, Lou, bring down the alligator. I don't even know where to look. He told you to go to left. That's them! Jim! Two signs of death warrants when you followed me here. Put him along. Get in. Where's the boss? I got him, boss. Quick work. I congratulate you. He didn't get us. We were trying to get in. Anyway, they're here. You say the word, we'll blast them. Release them. I'm surprised at you, Bruner. You haven't proved a case against these men. Of course he ain't. We've done our best and was coming here to tell our side of the story. There, Bruner. You must judge them. But you said you... I said things look bad for them. But by coming here themselves, that's all changed. We can use them to good advantage. Sure you can. There's no job too tough for us. I sure hope not. Because it happens I have such a job. The rest of you can go. As I was saying, I happen to have a very important job. Can you beat that? He changes his mind just like that. Don't you worry. He knows what he's doing. Well, that's the job. You think you can handle it? Yeah, that's a dilly. It's a cinch. We'll case the joint now and do the job tonight. Dinky. Yes, sir. Show these boys out. The secret way. So they'll know how to return. Yes, sir. And Dinky. After the boys have gone, tell Brad I want to see him in the living room. Tell him to wear the archer outfit. I've got some work for him. Yes, sir. Brad will be tickled. He's been getting restless. Come on, fellas. Well, goodbye, boss. Well, what you're doing is too complicated for me. That's as it should be. If your brains worked as fast as mine, I might be working for you. <laughs> You sure you understand? Sure. As soon as they finish the job, I take them in hand. Exactly. And if they fail to do the job? Then plant this note, where it'll be easily found. The boss. This is tells them where we're going. Well, that's my intention. They're not saps. What if they don't fall for it? My plans are such that they'll be glad to. Brad on his way. <laughs> He's got everything down pat. Everything's set for my end. <laughs> oh, good. With everyone watching everyone else, there isn't a chance of failure. <laughs> oh, I'll show you something new. Maybe there's something on. It generally is. And any further display of temper will only hurt you. You're here and here to stay until Mr. Bellamy releases you. And you know he'll never do that. I'm not so sure. He used to be very fond of you. Ah, men are such fools where women are concerned. And I've always loathed the very sight of Abel Bellamy. And he knows. My own idea may come in handy someday. Mrs. Patton seems to know a lot about your past. Perhaps. Go and check on the final details. 
That's it, Valerie. That's the whole story. It's just fortunate you escaped with your life. Oh, no. no. Only the good die young. That's corny, but still good. Spike, I wish you wouldn't kid about it. I feel as though we were sitting on a, a volcano that might erupt any minute. No, it's not that bad. Something always happens. Oh, you see, something has happened. See what it says. Read it, Valerie. Be on your guard after tonight. Watch for visitors. The Green Archer. Do you believe this? Why shouldn't I believe it? The Green Archer's proven himself our friend so far. Where's your father? Upstairs taking that. I'll get him. Dad? Oh, Dad? Your father's resting, miss. Shall I wait for you? Never mind, Henderson. Mr. Howard, Henderson told us you were resting. Certainly not. Well, what's wrong? Plenty, look. What? We'll call the police at once. No, you mustn't do that. The police would frighten them away. That's what I want them to do. No, no, then they'd strike again and we were not forewarned. Let's see if we can't catch them red-handed. It's our only chance. This is an old gag. I sure hope it works. I hope so, too. For all the trouble we've got You two go on the hall. both together. I'm sure it came from here. You take that side, I'll switch off here. Run! Warehouse. The girl will be there. What does that mean? Looks like a plant. If it mentions a girl, it might mean Valerie. Impossible. She's safe in the house.
the leader giving his men a pep talk? We think not. He's angry because his plans are going wrong. The ceiling of death. On whom are these knives about to fall? See what happens in Vanishing Jewels, next week's blood-tingling chapter of The Green Archer.